How do you wrap your head around the concept of viscosity? Usually people start by telling you that viscosity is the stickiness of fluid. Honey, um, sugar syrup, is very sticky, it's very viscous, compared to, say, water. And that's easy to understand. Um, and it all goes well until people start dumping that kind of equation on you, like mu is defined by tau divided by some difference in velocity divided by some difference in height over here. And then they add insult to injury by telling you that it's easy. It's just the ratio between shear and strain. So let's see, let's see what this means um, in practice. And for this, we need to make a conceptual experiment. We're gonna take a brick of fluid. So imagine inside fluid, you cut out a box, um, a brick-shaped piece of fluid. And this box has on top an area A, yeah? and it has in height, um, an height delta Y. And what we're gonna to do to this brick of fluid is we're going to strain it. We're going to deform it continuously at some fixed velocity. So what we do is we apply here a velocity difference between the top and the bottom. Yeah, we write it delta v. It's the, whatever is velocity the bottom is going at, we add to this a, velo a delta velocity delta v. So this strains the box. Yeah. And to do this, um, we need to apply some force f. We need to pull the top surface with us so that we strain the fluid. We want in this experiment to be able to quantify F and relate F with the stickiness or the viscosity of the fluid. So let's take a look at this, what this would look like. We have this little box over here. And now we know that F, or we know, we guess that F will increase um, with different parameters. It will certainly increase with increasing A. The larger the top area, the more force you need to pull. Yeah? It will also increase with more delta V. The faster you pull, yeah, the more force you will be required to apply. And lastly, it will increase with decreasing area, so, the, so decreasing height. So the shallower this brick of fluid is, and the more strain you're applying uh, for a given delta V. So the shallower the brick and the higher the force, like so. And finally, what we actually want to quantify um, the force will increase with increasing stickiness or viscosity. So now turn this around. You take the force that you have on top here, and based on this force, you want to quantify the stickiness or the viscosity of the fluid. We want to take the force and remove the parameters that influence the force that are not the viscosity. So we're going to take the force on top. We're going to divide it by the area. We're going to divide it by the delta V, and we're going to multiply it by the delta Y. And this gives us the equation, which is like so, here. Viscosity mu, the Greek letter mu, is defined as the force per area on top, yeah, divided by the delta V, divided by the delta Y. Yeah? Um, and so the force by area here on top, we write it tau, we call it shear stress. We'll come back to this in the coming chapters. Yeah? And the bottom uh, term we call velocity gradient, the change in space of velocity, delta V over delta Y. We will learn to write this uh, a tiny bit more formally in the coming chapters. For, for, for now, that's that should be enough. So I hope now it makes a little sense when people say it's the ratio between shear and strain. It's the ratio between shear, which is tau here, the effort that you apply, yeah, and the strain, how easily the thing will deform, yeah, so how quickly the thing will deform. Um, which is delta V over delta Y, or more formally, dv dy here, is the deformation rate in time that you get.